Hello and welcome to Code Time. My name's Trevor Greenleaf, and today I want to talk about Chart.js. This series is about getting started with Chart.js, so I'm going to show you some demos on how you can use Chart.js in your projects, and we'll be starting from scratch. So I'll create an HTML page and then integrate Chart.js on there. This is for beginners, so if you're a JavaScript pro, you probably don't need to watch this and just jump in there and integrate Chart.js on your own, and you'll get it figured out. Chart.js has pretty good documentation, and it's if you're comfortable enough with JavaScript, you can follow through that uh, documentation and be able to create a chart relatively easily and quickly. Now, Chart.js is just one of many uh, JavaScript charting uh, packages. Uh, it is my preferred JavaScript charting package. There's also things like Fusion Chart, and you have some Google Charts, and there's various other ones that are coming out all the time. But Chart.js is the one that I, I keep going back to. It's the one I use for when I create dashboard charts for projects and things like that. It just has everything I need. Now, it doesn't do absolutely everything. Uh, it if you need that weird or special occasion where you need just that little thing, you might want to look at some of the chart samples and make sure that Chart.js has something that would work for your purpose. Otherwise, you're going to spend a bunch of time and not get anything for it. But there's quite a bit of things that it can do. And if we jump over to samples, you can see here's bar charts, line charts, area charts, other charts. Uh, linear time, uh, scriptable tool tips and legends, you have really quite a bit of control over the individual chart with very little code necessary to write that. So making it very, very easy. Now Chart.js also has been has packages that integrate with other libraries. For example, using Laravel and Chart.js, you can find a package for that or using React or Vue with Chart.js and you can find some packages for that. So it's very, very popular. It's widely accepted as sort of the charting tool. And hence, this is getting started with Chart.js. So in this next episode, I will show you from scratch how to integrate our very first HTML uh, page with a chart on it. Let's take a look.